What's up YouTube? I have a new customer here that says that their car, uh, I guess is chugging on Cold Star. Uh, and it's also here for an oil change. And it was at Mavis for the last oil change. So let's just go through my visual inspection. Uh, the engine's obviously hot right now, so I can't duplicate their concerns, um, but I have some suspicions. So let's start looking at the tires. So Mavis is a known tire shop. Um, yeah, that didn't just happen overnight. That tire's completely bald. This is shot and chopped and flat spotted, all right? So if you're at a tire shop and you're getting a oil change, I don't know if they presented this to the customer. I mean, this tire here is almost a slick, but you can see the alignment is so bad that it's ripping the inside edges up. So four unsafe tires. We shake the front end down just to see if there's anything loose. And it's just, it's misalignment on top of uh, aggressive driving. But there's also an oil leak here that's been here and it didn't just happen overnight. You could tell that by the, the crap. See the color of the pan and then back here. So at first glance, to me, I'm going to say it's probably the turbo, but I can't confirm that. Uh, so I don't see the oil running down the oil return tube and I don't want to disturb it in case the customer is not prepared to deal with it. Um, and I suspect if the turbo is bad, that the spark plugs are fouled, and that's why she's getting a, a cold start issue. Uh, so we'll advise these customers of what's going on, and we'll get back to you. So this is just my visual inspection, uh, and I kind of do a visual inspection on everyone's car to just to get a, a, a health check or a condition. Some people care, some people don't, but I'll tell you what. If I didn't know anything about cars and I'm in for an oil change, I want to know if my tires are ready to blow out like in the next day or two. Uh, or my engine's gonna seize up because it's got an oil leak. I mean, only makes sense, but some people don't give a shit. Uh, they'll drive until the tires, tires blow out and then they'll get that car serviced or fixed at a gas station or pay the tow bill or, you know, inconvenience themselves when that all can have been avoided from the rip, uh, you know, by taking the advice of their service advisor, if it's a reputable service advisor. I mean, you know, this industry, in any industry out there today, you know, uh, has some blemishes for people who's screwing people over. Um, that doesn't happen here. Uh, if your car needs it, it needs it, and I can prove it every time. Thanks for watching.